That's how we do it. We clap a lot here. <laughs> uh, my name's Kevin Skatchen. Um, I work in IT as a systems analyst for a living. My name is Max, Max Olson. My occupation is school. My name's Lydia. Um, I'm a model. I'm Lucas Many. I'm a senior cloud DevOps engineer. I'm Katrina Johnson. I'm a data analytics consultant. And oh, sorry. <laughs> people typically call us Lou Katrina. My name is uh, Siobhan Kalapaka. I'm 24 years old. My name is David Scora. I go by the Scornado. Um, I work in transportation logistics. My name is Ryan Dixon. Uh, I'm the general manager of M3 Martial Arts. Uh, I've been the general manager for three years now. Is that three years? Uh, so I'm Mark Spador, black belt under Ishmael Bentley here at M3 Martial Arts in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Uh, uh, I help out, uh, teach classes here. Uh, uh, on a normal schedule, on a non-COVID schedule, I teach the morning classes, I teach the kids' competition classes. Uh, I've been competing for nine years. You know, I was about a year into it when I first started competing. Uh, and then I started doing like big competitions with Ishmael and IBJJFs and things like that. I'm a yellow and white belt. I've been training with Ish for just over two years now, and I train in adult classes maybe three hours a day. Um, I've been doing jiu-jitsu approximately 10 years. Um, been with Ishmael for eight of those, uh, seven or eight of those 10 years. Um, I am currently a brown belt under uh, M Theory, Ishmael, and Pedro Sauer. I've been training with Ishmael for four and a half years, training jiu-jitsu for roughly five and a half years, and I'm a purple belt. And I have been training with Ish for four and a half years, jiu-jitsu for almost seven, and what was the last, sorry, I'm a purple belt <laughs> with two stripes. <laughs> and we, yeah, we've gotten promoted together basically every promotion, which is always fun. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for three months. And I'm a third degree white belt. I've been doing jujitsu for six and a half. Um, I've been at M Theory training at M Theory for four years. And um, uh, I'm a purple belt. Um, I'm a blue belt in jujitsu and I've been doing it for about two and a half years, maybe a little less than, a little less than two and a half years. I've been training strictly jujitsu for about nine years now. I dabbled a little bit in um, amateur mixed martial arts. For a little while, that's kind of how I got introduced to jujitsu. Um, and apparently, I just got my black belt about six months ago now, I think. So, uh, so jujitsu for fitness. So, um, one of the beautiful things about jujitsu is there's some there's some individual type drills you can do. Most of the stuff is done with another live moving body. So you, when you start to do jujitsu and you have a person you're doing it with, and as you get more and more experience and start to do it really actively. Like the ability to control and manipulate somebody's body and vice versa. Fitness should be like a secondary thing that happens from jujitsu, right? Um, most of the people who reach out who want to do jujitsu, they say that fitness is a huge component of it, right? Because um, inherently doing jujitsu is far more interesting than, well, most people consider more interesting than like lifting weights or running on a treadmill or something like that. So the, the benefit is, that, like, especially for me too, when I started jujitsu, I just got obsessed with doing jujitsu. And then by proxy, I lost a bunch of weight and got in better shape because I was just doing it all the time. Uh, jujitsu for fitness, what that means to me. Um, obviously I come here a lot. I'm here probably, you know, five, at least five days a week generally. Um, I think it's good just to sweat every day. I, especially I sit in my desk for work all day. I work in IT. Um, so I'm extremely stir crazy by the time I get off work. So just being able to come here, move around, kind of like get that sweat going. Um, obviously, it's very physical activity, so you get that strength aspect, you get that good lung burn going, so you get that cardio aspect as well. So when someone comes in and they want to do jiu-jitsu for fitness, let's say, they come in and at first it's really good because it's a big workout. It's very difficult. Uh, it's it's very unique in any other sport. We're, recruits a lot of dynamic muscles, things like that. You know, mix of everything, cardio, speed, power, footwork, whatever, you know. So eventually what they're gonna to start to realize is it's not just like a good workout, is that it's mentally, it's very taxing. Uh, all these moves, I gotta, I gotta understand all these moves, I have to remember all these moves, and then I have to actually apply all these moves all while I'm getting out of breath. And that can be very, 
challenging. It's very difficult. Jiu Jitsu is incredibly difficult. If anyone tells you like, oh, Jiu Jitsu is easy and they're serious about it, they probably don't have good Jiu Jitsu, <laughs> honestly. Like, they just don't. When I first started training Jiu Jitsu, I was, you know, 270 pounds, very overweight. Uh, you know, hadn't been regular in the gym for years. You know, every time I'd go to the gym, I would, you know, stick around for a month or so, get bored. So what I really loved about jujitsu was when you get here to the gym, you know, you step on the mat, all your friends are here, you're mentally engaged. It's, it's not something where you're just kind of mindlessly going through the motions. You know, you have to be thinking about jujitsu and nothing else, otherwise it's gonna go somewhat poorly for you, so. I think within like the first two weeks, I started to notice, um, you know, changes in my body. Um, I think the first thing I noticed was my calf muscles, because before it was just like straight, you know, and now I've got the little curve. For fitness, it's um, it's really good, because I don't, I don't think I've been stronger than I've been right now. I suppose, you know, Jiu-Jitsu is a great opportunity for people not only to come in and have this cerebral experience, you know. Um, you know, there's one thing running on a treadmill and another thing, you know, learning the kind of stuff that we learn in here. There is a saying where you don't have to do anything else other than jujitsu. So if you're a big guy and you want to lose weight, well, you roll with the little guys. If you're a little guy and you want to get strength, you roll with the big guys. Um, I haven't weightlifted since November of last year. Um, all of my training is here on the mat. And so jujitsu jiu for fitness for me is loving the, uh, the cardio, the competition, and all the different body types here at uh, M39. Well, when I first started jujitsu, I had been just working out at a regular gym, doing regular lifts and all that kind of stuff. And I realized that there's only so many different ways you can do a deadlift with proper form. And it just got really boring because there wasn't any diversity. And so a friend suggested trying jujitsu and a tried it and I was like this is awesome uh, because it's always different there's always something new that you can learn. I tell people like you need to like get a schedule to do jujitsu right figure out what works for you okay I can do jujitsu three days a week okay I'm going to come Monday Wednesday Friday all right um, and stay on that schedule like make that a part of like your your weekly routine then obviously like people that can come every day that's great um, but regardless of whether you're there every day, whether you're there two days a week, three days a week, try to make it like a part of like your normal activity. Someone like me, you know, had issues my whole life with anxiety and depression. To be able to come in here and just clear, clear your head out for an hour, two hours, you know, whatever, and then just get that endorphin rush. Over the years, you know, that first year and a half or so, I probably lost you know, 40 pounds just coming in day after day. Um, and really, really falling in love with jujitsu, and you know, falling in love with you know, staying fit. I've had to change my mental outlook for sure since I started. Um, I've had to kind of get through some mental blocks to kind of push myself further and to keep going, even though my body is like, no. In general, jujitsu is really good for fitness because it helps with your physical endurance, um, and there's a lot of like flexibility and stability, and all those things are just good for your life in general. When you realize how capable you are within your body, there's a lot of things that I never thought that I would be able to do, like cartwheels or somersaults or anything that's like. YouTube athletic highlight reel kind of things and, and maybe I'll still, there's some of them that maybe I'll get to one day, but I'm getting there. Your body and mind will just acclimate to like, okay, Jiu Jitsu is this thing I do on Monday. Jiu Jitsu is this thing I do on Wednesday, right? If you're having a, if you're having a, a stressful week, like you know, like, oh, I'm gonna do, do Jiu Jitsu for an hour on Wednesday and that's gonna be, you know, your own personal time to decompress and right and you know that that's in your weekly schedule right super important an aspect of fitness from grappling that unless you have grappled you'll never get and it's that active resisting body and you're trying to manipulate that body into a space right and uh, it'll give you an aspect of fitness that unless you've done 
jujitsu or wrestling or judo or something similar. Like you, you sometimes people don't like they didn't literally like the the saying. I didn't even know I had that muscle. I was like, well, you have it, but you know, you never <laughs> had to use it before. I've never undertook the challenge of becoming a heart surgeon or anything like that, so I, like I can attest to that. But man, jujitsu. When I see people come in from all walks of life, they're all like, yeah, it's just like really difficult. Especially if they stick around with it. Because the person who comes in, they only see like a little chunk, you know? And then when they get to a few stripes in or blue belt and they start to see like all these different classes and then they start to hear from like other instructors and their takes on it and then they start to realize like, oh my goodness, like there's so much that I don't know. You know, I had that realization. I, I remember when I had that realization, I was like, oh man, I, there's a lot that I don't know, but one day I'm gonna know a lot. Um, and even at Black Belt, I'm still like, oh man, I, I, I got so much to learn, so many details, so many ways of thinking about things, so many ways about teaching things, you know? So it just changes constantly. It's so good, you just, I don't, it sounds weird, but you don't, you don't get an exercise this exhausting. I've played, I've played football, basketball, baseball, everything else, lacrosse and I've never been more tired than from jiu-jitsu. It's just a truly exhausting and hard sport. I think jiu-jitsu teaches you how to think differently about puzzles in life in general in the sense that um, it's not always the same path. Um, you know, you can, you can do a move perfectly, but still someone can be able to squirm out of it or um, maybe they're bigger or stronger or higher ranked than you and so they have something else in their, up their sleeve and you kind of have to learn how to deal with that but you also have to learn how to deal with that really, really quickly. I think most people that would come in here would tell you like this is the, this is the decompression part of their day. The mental aspect of it is so important, right? That, that is kind of a common understanding. The puzzle solving part of it is the part that I think people subconsciously understand, right? But it's so important. I'm going to come in here, especially when you start to get to do the live training and rolling, and every day I'm going to have to try to solve this puzzle. But the puzzle person A gives is a different person than puzzle B. The, you know, being present is, is kind of a, a, a requirement for doing it, right? Um, and on top of that, like one of the things I really liked about it when I first started is that it's really easy to get into a flow state um, because you're, it's just analytical thinking the whole time um, while making split second decisions and being physical. You know, some people like you see them their first day as a white belt and then you see them six months later and you can tell they've lost a bunch of weight and they're, you can tell they're improving just in their jujitsu, their cardio is getting better, they're, they're starting to figure things out more and like just, just all those things like combined, it's really it's gonna, I suppose in the mental aspect, it's just going to improve your confidence. It keeps you engaged and it also allows you to um, get that same sort of treadmill treadmill workout, right? But only you get to use your head, you know, you get to use your head, you get to have a lot of fun. And uh, I think uh, Jiu Jitsu for fitness um, is more than just fitness, you know, the community allows you to have a social life, you know? Jiu Jitsu sometimes is referred to as human chess and, I, and I'm like, yeah. I, my personal opinion is it's more complicated than chess, right? And sometimes people are like, really? I was like, yeah, you, once you do it and you start to understand like every day I'm trying to solve this and that goes on forever, right? When you're a white belt rolling with a black belt, this is a really complicated puzzle you're trying to solve. But when you see two good black belts training together, they're trying to solve each other's puzzle. And the puzzle on Monday may be different than Tuesday because Monday one of them may have success and then Tuesday the other person's gone back and tried to resolve that puzzle and then it may change and then it may change, keep changing again, right? So it's just this, you're stuck in this, this loop that you seemingly just can't get out of where you're trying to have to solve a new puzzle, not just every day, every round you go, right? And that part of jujitsu, I don't think people sometimes think about enough is like the ability to solve problems in life is so important and every day in Jiu Jitsu you're trying to solve a puzzle. It's really kind of shown me what I can actually do that I didn't really know so I've definitely gotten a lot more confident in uh, pretty much everything actually. 
you can go down a rabbit hole and then find a new rabbit hole and then go back and go down the exact same rabbit hole and find something new or find some new detail that you didn't realize before or you didn't understand maybe the first time you saw it. And so having that puzzle presented to you in the same way and in different ways can help you grow as an individual and an individual jiu-jitsu. There's a thing in jiu-jitsu that you don't typically hear it from people until they get to a pretty high level. Um, and I've heard this from multiple jiu-jitsu people. And it, for me, it's kind of, I feel the same way. A lot of people meditate. I've had many people uh, in jiu-jitsu where people ask them, do you meditate? And they will say, jiu-jitsu is my meditation. I'm in a meditative state when I'm doing jujitsu. That for me, right? And sometimes that's hard for people to grasp, but usually you're talking about somebody that's a really good black belt. That, that, that's them, that's their meditative zone. Like they're in it when they're doing jujitsu. When you're at work, you're not thinking about work because you hate work. When you're at home, you're not thinking about home because you're thinking about work, which you hate, and yada, yada, yada. It goes on and on and on. But when you're at jujitsu, it's really hard to think about like, well, I have to do these finance reports when someone's smashing you into the mat. As everybody knows, you're at home, it's bad weather, or it's good weather. And you're like, ah, I'm not gonna go. And so you have to get in on your bike, on your rollerblades, in the car, get here. The minute you get here, your mental plant, your mental is blossoming. And you're like, okay, there's Bob, there's James, there's everybody, and you get on the mat, and you just understand that it's go time with jujitsu. Because a lot of times people think you have to be sitting in a room by yourself. Right, jujitsu people that are really good at jujitsu will tell you that like their meditative state is like in the role, right? And that's their moment where they're like at the most peace. And from the outside, you might look at that and it's like, I don't understand how anybody could be at peace in this. But for people that have done jujitsu for a long time, that's their peaceful moment.